Hey guys, Jim here. Week 4, Thing 14. I'm going to be moving along pretty quickly because Screencastify has now changed from a 10-minute limit to a 5-minute limit. So i got to get through this fairly quickly. I also am not using presentation mode because it is being a fickle friend and not letting me record when I go presentation mode. So, this week... Um, I'm going to be grading your week three things, and I'm going to be watching a lot of presentations in my own classroom, so wish me luck on that. But actually, this year, they've been pretty good. Um, you will be turning in thing six by tonight, and then anxiously awaiting your phenomenal grades on your hard work and completing thing 14 by next Sunday. Probably some of you will be watching the Super Bowl in between there sometime as well. Um, my own views and experiences with presentations, because thing 14 is about presentations. Um, I say that you go ahead and welcome Comic Sans font and all the other wacky friends that come along with it. You are not in front of clients at a advertising company or in a auditing firm or something like that. You are in front of young people. And in my case, I'm in front of 10, 11, 12 year olds, and they don't want to sit in front of New York Times font on a white background all day long. They just turn that right off. So don't be afraid to mix colors and fonts and all that kind of stuff. Keep it easy. Also keep in mind, most of your students cannot read cursive. So the handwriting fonts, you want to stay away from those altogether. It's PowerPoint, not Power Essay. When I have kids present, I tell them, I don't want the words on the screen. I want you to tell us the word and use the screen to show us media. So charts, maps, pictures, video, whatever it is, while you describe it. We don't want to read a full page of, of text. Everybody gets turned off to that. And in this case, when I have students presenting and they have to listen to 29 other students present as well, you can imagine how quickly that gets boring and, and no good at all if they just have pages and pages of words. Um, know when to turn them loose and when to rein them in. In other words, there are times when I want them to follow a fairly strict outline to follow a rubric. And there are other times when I let them do as wacky and wild as they want. Uh, the last project that we do in the first semester is sort of a recap of the whole semester. And I tell them to use any means necessary to tell me what we did. And they come up with some really cool things and they love it. They like to be turned loose, but they also have to sometimes know what those boundaries are when you're doing something a little more formal. It is way more than just presentations. Yes, we do present in front of class once in a while, but almost all the time that I have kids do presentations, like a Google slide, it's just to give me information. They turn it into me. I can grade it quickly. They can do it quickly. And it's not as formal as a five paragraph essay. We do this almost all the time. Um, you yourself, don't be afraid to branch out. If you're doing something that you want to keep or modify each year, do it on a Google slide or PowerPoint. But once in a while, um, you know, throw in a Prezi. Maybe you are going to do some TikTok videos or something like that. But once in a while, throw in something that's a little bit different. And it really shows the kids that you're willing to put yourself out there. You're willing to learn new things like they do as well. Um, I'm putting this slideshow in Canvas. But I'm also, here's a link to an example that I used. I'm just going to push it up here. This is a kind of a faux test that I give at the beginning of the year. And what I'm trying to do here is to get kids to understand that knowing uh, vocabulary is so important in their test-taking ability. I give them this really difficult set of directions here, and then we break it down and go further um, down the line and then say, you know, what I'm really asking you to do is very, very easy if you just understood the vocabulary. But what I wanted to show you with this is just to see um, if you do run this, you see the different transitions, you see the different colors, you see all that kind of stuff, and it keeps the kids involved. So I just want to show you like an example of how I use color and font and all that kind of stuff. So this week you're working in thing 14, get that turned in. And I think I made it under my five minute mark. I will see you guys later. Thanks.